Do you feel like quitting right now? Because it's hard? Because you don't know how this is all gonna work out and you don't know how this story is gonna end and you're tired. So you feel like quitting. I know how you feel because I've been there. But just for a second, have you given any thought to who is counting on you to carry this thing out? What might you miss out on if you do not persevere? Hey everyone, my name is Misha Blackman and welcome to my channel where we talk about loving Jesus, building wealth, and living life from a millennial Christian perspective. And in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about not giving up, about not quitting on God's gifts, and about persevering when things get hard. And I wanted to share a devotional with you. I have this devotional book called Unshakable by Christine Kane. And I bought this a couple years ago. Um, you can see it's a little bit scratched up because I've had it for a while, but I decided to revisit it this year and just start rereading a few of the devotionals. And since today is June 1st and it's a new month, it's a new week, I wanted to um, share today's devotional and hopefully encourage you guys to persevere in what you're doing right now, even when it feels hard, even when it feels like you just you can't do it. You can't do it. You don't have the strength. I want to read this devotional to you guys today and just share my thoughts on it and hopefully it sparks some new motivation in you. So today's devotional is called Favor is for Purpose and the opening scripture is Luke 1 30 to 31 and it reads, the angel said to her, do not be afraid Mary, you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son and you are to call him Jesus. So the devotional reads, when God chose young and betrothed Mary to carry birth and raise Jesus Christ to the son of God, it was the greatest honor for any woman in history. But it was hardly an easy assignment. It was however, incredibly filled with purpose. Purpose that required his divine favor. The future didn't look easy for Mary. She would have to tell her fiance, family, and friends about her conversation with Gabriel. And she, unlike us, did not know how the story would end. I'm sure that after the angel left, Mary anxiously wondered if Joseph would leave her, if her family would ostracize her, or if her friends would ridicule her. How could anyone believe her story? It could have cost her everything she knew. Yet she still said yes to the will and purpose of God. We all want God's favor, but it's much more than everything going our way. To live in the true favor of God, we must be willing to accept his divine assignments and all their ramifications. We must be willing to embrace the responsibility, cost, and commitment that favor requires. And the prayer at the end of the devotional just says, Lord, I choose your purposes. I thank you for the favor to complete your purposes. Amen. So the part that stood out to me the most in that devotional was the sentence where it says, we must embrace the responsibility, cost, and commitment that the favor requires. So basically this devotional is just saying that God is a God that wants to favor us. He wants to give us our heart's desires and he wants to use us to fulfill purpose through us. Each and every one of us have a purpose on this earth. And when we're walking in our true calling and when we're living out that purpose and when we're being obedient to the assignment that God has given us, we will live a life of favor. We will be blessed and we will live prosperous lives. But that doesn't mean that all of that will come without a cost without responsibility and without us giving something, without us sometimes sacrificing. What motivates me the most is my family. I believe that God has equipped me to create change in my family and empower other people to be able to create change in their own lives and the lives of their own family members as well. And so every time it gets hard, every time that I feel like my assignment is hard and things are still may not be going exactly the way that I planned and it might not look it might not make sense like it might not look like things are working out I just remind myself that I can't quit because I don't know I can't see what's on the other side of the obedience yet 
but I know because of God's word that our blessing is on the other side of obedience. And I know because of God's word that nations could be are waiting for me to obey, that people, the generations are waiting for me to obey, to persevere when it gets hard. The enemy will oppose us. Things, obstacles, hardships will come our way. But I just always remember that like, I shouldn't be surprised by those things. We shouldn't be surprised because look what Mary went through. Look what she went through to birth Jesus, our savior. The devotional says that she did not know how the story would end. We know how the story ends. We know what Jesus became and what he was able to do and that she was okay. But she didn't know that when she became pregnant with Jesus. She didn't know. But the thing is, like, as we're pursuing what we believe that God has called us to do, as we're going for it and people are opposing us and we're getting no's and we're getting rejection, we have to know that that doesn't mean we should quit. It doesn't mean we should quit. But we should also be very prayerful. We should also be speaking to God, praying to God and, and yielding to his direction asking him to guide us so that we know that we're making the right decisions so that we know that the assignment that we're trying to complete is an assignment from God. Remember that if God called you to this assignment, then he will equip you. He has already equipped you to do it. I know that I was built to do what, what I'm trying to do. I know that God made me this way. I know that he made me strong. I know that he he put certain desires in my heart for a reason, for a purpose. And if God favors me financially, he knows that he can trust me. He knows what I'm gonna do with that. He knows that I'm gonna, I'll be able to fulfill purpose with that favor. He knows that I'll be responsible. He knows that I'll be a good steward because I'm showing him that I'm a good steward right now. So that's what we have to do. We have to not quit. We have to, Remember that everything has a purpose, that when God blesses us and favors us, he's expecting us to fulfill purpose. He's expecting us to be selfless. He's expecting us to be obedient. So let's just remember today that God is our strength in everything that we do. He's our strength to run the race that we're running and he's our strength to complete our assignments. And remember that every time you get up, Every time you get up when it's hard and you try again, every time you make a little bit of progress, even 1% of progress, every time you post another blog post or try, write another page of that book or um, apply to another job, every time you make one step closer, just remember that you are getting closer. You are getting closer. It might not look like it in the physical, but you are getting closer. You're getting closer to that blessing. You're getting closer to rece receiving that favor. And God's giving you grace through all of this, through all of this, you'll have, you'll receive grace. And that's also how you know that you are walking in God's divine assignment. When you, ha when you have grace to do what you're doing, when God is helping you, when you see that there's people in your lives he's put there that are helping you, you know that God's giving you the grace to run the race. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and it was motivational for you. Don't give up don't quit. Stay the course so that you can see the fruits on the other side of commitment and obedience. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. If you are new here, I post videos every Monday. Definitely click that subscribe button below and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. It definitely will help my channel to grow. Thank you so much, guys. See you next week. Bye.